Welcome back. It is time to get your stomach ready because it is Tasty Tuesday and this week's Tasty Tuesday is showing us a new Thai restaurant inside Virgin Hotels, a place for Easter brunch and so much more. We have Melinda Shuckles, the editor of OffTheStrip.com, joining us live right now to talk about all of this. Good morning, Melinda. My stomach is just grumbling right now because I haven't eaten lunch, so I'm already ready for what you have to offer. So let's start off with the new restaurant. Yes, yeah, so Virgin Hotels obviously opened last week to a lot of fanfare and with it comes 12 new places to eat, which obviously made me extremely excited. So the first <laughs> spot that I hit is called Night and Market, which is actually one of my favorite restaurants from LA. It is a LA style Thai food restaurant. LA has a, a major Thai food scene and this restaurant, Night and Market, has been lauded for years. It's received many awards awards and they really do very inventive Thai cuisine. So you will find there Ooh. things like a mammoth chicken sandwich. I mean, it was piled so high with papaya salad and so spicy, burn your face off. Uh, pad Ki Mao, which uh, is like a drunken noodle dish with pastrami and lobster pad thai, how decadent. Uh, so Night and Market it also has an incredible wine list of natural wines to go with Thai food because nothing goes better with spicy than great wine. And you got to check them out at Virgin Hotels. Night and Market is now open. Okay, that looked absolutely delicious. Now you also have a place uh, for people looking for a spot for Easter brunch. Correct. So this is so exciting. Zuma, which is one of my favorite spots at the Cosmopolitan. It's a very contemporary Japanese restaurant. They have multiple locations in very cosmopolitan cities like Boston and Miami. And of course, here in Vegas, they're doing their first ever Easter brunch here at the Las Vegas location. And it ranges in price from $95 to $295. And that's basically based on what kind of beverage package you get. So the food is all the same throughout. So you get unlimited plates of their gyoza, their sushi and sashimi, their all sorts of wonderful Japanese delic delicacies that they have there. And then you get entrees as well. And then you get booze. So you get <laughs> with the $95 package, you get select um, ch French champagnes. And then with the $295 package, you, of course, get Dom Perignon and the unlimited cocktail list as well, bottomless. So great options there, depending on how you know deep you want to go in on the drinking on <laughs> Easter brunch. And they also have an option for kids for $55, too. So check that out at the Cosmopolitan. What's well, brunch without the booze, right? You got to include exactly. the booze. All right. So <laughs> last but not least on your list, this one is going to uh, pay tribute to a local chef. Can you kind of explain that? Correct. Last week, unfortunately, we lost one of the most esteemed luminaries in the culinary industry here in Las Vegas, uh, Bobby Silva, who was the sous chef at Sparrow and Wolf. And uh, his untimely passing is being, you know, very mourned here amongst the food and beverage community. And Brian, the, um, the owner of Sparrow Wolf, an executive chef there, has uh, started a dinner uh, which will take place on April 5th. It's going to be at the Vegas Text Kitchen. It is 100% of the proceeds will go to Bobby's family. Uh, you can purchase tickets on secretburger.com and it will be an all-star compilation of 10 of the best chefs in town, all of whom were friends of Bobby's who are cooking to pay tribute to him. There's also been a GoFundMe set up for the family as well. You can check that out. It'll be in on the KTNB website as well as my website, offthestrip.com. That's a nice way to give back. All right, Melinda Shuckles, thank you so much for joining us once again for Tasty Tuesday. We appreciate you always. Thank you. Have a great day. Of course, and we'll be right back. Stick with us.